Daryl scoops a big hunt in my backyard while I was on a duck hunt, and we tag team the permission in the final minutes of light to set him up for a 24-24 hunt the next morning. Jeff hits a wall on his hunt, and I send Mel out to check a pothole to salvage Jeff's morning. It was the right decision and saved the day. I hunt in the snow again and pull off 32 ducks and 30 geese for my four guys in a fantastically fun hunt. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Yeah, this is a good hunt. 300 plus big Canadas, some specks, a bunch of ducks. Out in the middle of nowhere too. No one's gonna come in here and mess with them. We just gotta try and track it down. We got Brad looking into who owns this one. He knows the area a bit better than I do over this way. And uh, there's just the one one name on the map. The only the only quarter they own is this one right here. And hopefully we can figure out who's either farming it or who who knows who's actually name on this land right now. But uh, if we can get on this one, this would be a great hunt. Three, 300 plus big Canadas, a bunch of mallards, a uh, bunch of specks. Man, this just, this looks awesome. Claudio's over hunting to the east there and uh, this, this is right in his territory. If we can sneak in on this one and scoop this one from him, it'll be pretty good. Yeah, 300 big Canadas and some mallards, it's stolen. Claudio said that uh, the landowner lives down in the valley here, a little horse farm, so we'll uh, stop in there and see if we can get permission on it. Yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, Jeff told me the other day, she changed that. She don't got too much tread left on her. You might want to change that one out there, buddy. No, no, it's good. All right. Let you go, and I just and I just bumped all the ducks. I, I I stopped right by the puddle. I have a flat tire right where you don't want to stop. Bye. All right. This wouldn't be so bad if it didn't happen. Fifty yards in front of the puddle, I was coming to check. Just bumped the ducks off the puddle. Yeah. I suppose Jeff was right, I could have changed it on the weekend. Done. Back on the road. Good for another week. I haven't reached Claudio on Garrow because you're not answering the phone. Do not leave a message. <laughs> Let's just keep phoning him until he answers. Maybe he'll get the idea that it's important. So we talked to that landowner there and uh, he said he sold it to another person that we have permission on their property. And so we're gonna uh, get a hold of them and hopefully they say go ahead. Hello, you reach Claudio on Garrow with on Garrow's Outdoor Outfitters. <laughs> Hey, so he's his phone's either dead or he's not answering, so. Okay. Uh, let me check with Mel. Mel might have Henry's number. Yeah? Yeah, I'll put you back. Okay, thanks. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. We're trying to get an idea how many ducks are actually in there. They hide pretty good in that stubble. There's a few, though. You can see some little, little bodies out there and one snow goose. It'd be a great hunt, though, just the way they're Honkers are coming into this. Uh, Darryl, go ahead. Hey, so I'm sitting here uh, watching them and they're going far to roost. They're not sitting close. Are they? Okay. Yeah. And there's a, there's a blonde mallard in the field too. Okay. There is a bunch of geese <laughs> on uh, 
on the hunter eggs, but it's that pod that you saw. It's not a lot. Well, this you is good about that one. Oh yeah, this is a good hunt for sure. Okay, I'll phone him right and now. There's lots of honker traffic in this area too. I'll phone him. Okay. Good stuff. They okay, they may have cows in the bottom somewhere. I can't see any, but tell them we won't shoot any cows that don't fly into the decoy. That's right. Stand yeah. by. Okay. Back. Hello. Okay, you're good to go on that one. Okay, awesome. Um, most of them are getting up and okay. heading out right now, so. Perfect. Okay. All right. We'll talk later. I'm just pulling into the yard. Bye bye. Bye. So we got it, they said we're good to go, and uh, birds are going far to roost, everything's looking good. Uh, good hunt option for the morning. Get some birds, come on, here, come here. Whoa, you stink. So the biggest problem with today's hunt is I gotta put the dog blind upwind of me to be outside of the shooters. And he found out the other morning that black and white cats aren't his good friends. So he's a little stinky right now. Oh, get in your kennel. Hey, you smell like a skunk? It's made out to this field with the honkers in it this morning. Uh, we ended up with only three shooters making it up this morning, unfortunately. But uh, that's the way it goes. We'll be able to hide better. and. Uh, Hopefully we can double out on our ducks and our geese here. Maybe get that blonde mallard and a uh, bunch of big Canadas. Uh, it's nice and cool this morning. Really crisp air. <laughs> Some of these guys from the south, they're bundled up pretty good. This is nothing though. <laughs> they, they need to come in another month and hunt. <laughs> Shoot them guys! Deke! Oh, damn, you got it. Get them! Oh, look at the flight that was coming too. Look right here, low. Low ducks? Three ducks coming in right here. Right here. <laughs> Kill them guys. There you go. Sorry. Get them. They slid us again. We don't have enough wind. <laughs> Shoot them! <laughs> Kill them! Nice shooting, guys. Deke! What, what's that? Dog will get him, dog will get him. <laughs> Shoot them. One, two, three. Done, done, done. Deke! All right, so Jeff had about 1,500 ducks hitting a puddle and feeding in a pea field, and and the theme for this year seems to be these ducks have been been vanishing. So I I don't know what's going on. Melvin, what? Jeff's struggling. He can't even find the ducks. Like they're not even around. So I don't know. Do you want to go have a look and see if we can put another program together? I mean, I don't know what to. Jeff. Yeah. All right, so it's cold, and the ducks might be hanging tight a little bit, but I'm sending Mel to check the day roost where he hunted. 
So if the ducks are feeding there and it hasn't picked up feeding a little bit, you'll, you'll get a call from Mel. So keep your phone handy and we'll try to do a, like an extraction and a reintegration on a different scenario, if that works. Mel's on his way. All right. All right, bye-bye. That's that. So, so, so. Plus, there's other drama going on behind the scenes that we can't really tell you about. <laughs> so how's that? More gray hair, wrinkles. <laughs> Get them. Get them great mallards here up high. Peek. I was waiting for the mallards that were behind them. But... No, that's fine. I mean. <laughs> Get two. One. Come on. No. Really? No. No. <laughs> Not possible. <laughs> What did he shoot? I didn't see him. He didn't <laughs> see him. Oh. Are you asleep? One's coming right in here, guys. There you go. Get him. Right on. 24. <laughs> <laughs> I think all you need is one brick and a robo. So don't, and I'll try to come in there and show you. Let's pull this off, boys. Jeff's ducks did not show up at his puddle this morning for whatever reason, we don't know why. What I got here is a day roost. I hunted this field last night, it didn't go good for me. They fed right outside the day roost. Well, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get some payback this morning, we hope. So uh, we're gonna get these guys set up in here as quick as we can, find some places for them to shoot. It's one of them, they were just trying to get this, this stuff done. Let's go, boys. Even if they get five or 10 ducks, it's better than getting none. All we can do is hope. Yeah, that was fun. Yes, sir. <laughs> great hunt, man. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Good hunt with you guys. One for the book, man. Yeah, great. Great hunt with you. Started uh, with him and ended with him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, first great. time and last time. And maybe next time we'll actually be able to shoot. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Not yeah, making any promise. We probably could have killed 60 honkers out of here or more today. Yeah, it's too bad we didn't have a few more shooters. We were 30 of them landed right yeah. there. And uh, he was sleeping. Was I was taking a mild <laughs> nap. It was not sleep. Well, not we, were, we were gonna uh, zip tie your uh, <laughs> thing. Yeah, shut the doors on you. Let's get this nice photo lined up here. We'll yeah. pack up and go get some breakfast. Sir. Cool. Absolutely. Thanks, sir. Right on. Everything was just went smooth this morning. You know, perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better. We just set up. We had lots of time before first light. It's always nice to get sit there in the blinds and. Uh, once the honkers started flying, they just they just did it. They did it nice. Finished them right in, and we got our 24-24. Turnover day now, so we'll head back, clean some guns, wash some trucks, and uh, get these guys back to the airport and do it all over again. What'd you end up with? 20, 24? 24. And some geese too? Got the uh, greater and lesser. Canada's? Well, well, how did it end up? Uh, 24 ducks, a couple of geese. And I, th I think we made the right decision. You could have been sitting there with six ducks. Absolutely. And, you know, or 10. We or did our best. What else can you do? Well, had it gone well, you know, we'd have been the heroes. So now we're... We're half heroes. We got half a limit. Half, half a limit. And two extra geese that we wouldn't have. That's right. It's good. It's, it's good. good. Yeah, so you know what? The guys ended up with about a half a limit of ducks, a couple of geese. The other guys, uh, they ended up, only three of them went hunting this morning and it was 24-24, 24 geese, 24 ducks. They left, they're gone already, all smiles. And uh, you know, we're, we're, we're ready for a, a half day off. You know, the guides are ready just to, just take a little bit of a break and get your brain off this thing. And tomorrow morning we start spotting again for the next week, you know, and off we go. Another group tomorrow. Yeah.
All right. What a shame. Where'd they all go? Just scatter all over? Yeah, they're scattered. While they tried to get back in, he, he, he moved them off three times. And you can't, you can't blame them. No, I don't blame them at all, Claudio. I felt bad watching it, to be honest. I don't know how many were in there, Claudio, but it was really? a lot. All right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I'm going to go north and check some stuff. Thanks. I'll come back by here and take a look. All right. I had a hunt that was on swaths. There was a few uh, late this morning. So I phoned the farmer, of course. He's like, yeah, please get him out of there. It's one of those situations our hunters are just in today. It's Sunday afternoon. I would have been in there and got him off of swaths tonight if I had hunters to take in there. I mean, sure, we would have done a better job in the morning, but as a farmer, you can't sit there and watch the birds eat your hard-earned money away. So that's what it is. I mean, he drove through it a few times. I'm sure they'll probably be back in there, but I guess Mel's going to be up for a target now and then uh, probably Claudio and I'll go look for a backup target. I have a couple options but that was the one I had plans on so that's how it goes. So whatever, plans change. Call Mel Bar. Yeah, go. How's it going? Good, good. I got a split gig. Half of them um, trickled out and ended up in the bales. But the ducks, some specks, and some snows are still left where they started, so I'll probably hunt there and park the truck in the bales, you know? All right, Mel, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. So right now, it looks like uh, Mel's going to do a Canada goose hunt that we've been watching, and then the issue I have is they kind of split, and they're both great hunts in their own right but it would have been really, really great if they were all together. So see what happens. They're about half, three quarters of a mile apart. And I'm just checking up on another one here for the next day and we should be good to go. I'm seeing geese go back to roost. The, the only little bit of concern for tomorrow morning is that there's there's another hunt, well, another feed going on off the roost, right near the roost. So, I mean, they could get mixed up in there if they choose to hit the barley. But, I mean, you can't, yeah, you can't control everything, right? You can't control where they go to roost and where they decide to come out in the morning. I know there's 10,000 plus in here, so there's, you know, and some ducks. So we should be, should be all right. Anyways, what do you do? All you can do is go hunting. This way some would go, oh yeah, lots are going back, back that way now, which is good. Hopefully, as long as a bunch go back to a few different roosts, we'll be styling. Looks like multiple roosts. Wow, that's a lot of birds, holy. set up for a west wind with a southeast wind right now. It's gonna switch, I know it will. Cause it always does when you get the rig set up in the morning, it switches when you're ready. So now we're waiting for it. Yeah, this is a guy's worst nightmare. Right here. But you know what, we, we took provision for it. Yep. And you know with the wind apps on our phones now, we can anticipate, you check a few different weather models and then we've got basically a big H or half an X or whatever you want to call it. Lots so, of spots to come. Lots of spots for them to approach and we're wearing white suits. Real easy to move these guys. I'm gonna get these guys to run real lean. They're gonna have a little their little case of shells and their uh, and their guns and that's it. Yeah, I know. See, that's how it's pulling the I, suitcase I know. out into the spray. I know, but I'll go, I'll go talk to them. I'll go lean them down a little bit. So the suitcases. They gotta, they gotta go. <laughs> got a little bitty bag too. <laughs> it's I not gonna you. bother anybody, Claudio. It's, it's not gonna bother anything. Bag. If they see that bag, they'll be dead. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, no okay, that's fine. <laughs> Keep it underneath. Keep it underneath. We're yeah. good. Okay. These ones are coming in for an approach, guys. Get ready. We might have to shoot them hot, but we'll take them. Okay. Yeah. When they're low enough. Oh yeah, we'll kill these. Ready? Go, 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 go! Nice shooting, boys. 
Oh, oh, right there. Look at this signal. Paul, get ready. Your side. Get ready, guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, ouch. <laughs> How'd you hit that? He's doing like 70 miles an hour. Ready, ready? Rip, rip him, rip him, rip him, rip him. Two. Two. Keith, yeah. you make this most monumental shot by shooting guys. <laughs> drill him, guys, drill him. Good job, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, right here, yeah, yeah. Ooh, coming in hot. Ready? Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Got him Keep shooting, guys. <laughs> Snow geese, guys, right side. We're gonna kill these right away here. <laughs> kill them, boys. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Good shot. Nice. nice shooting, boys. Got them all. That was sweet. Huh? Yeah, nice shooting. Get ready on these ducks. Ready? <laughs> drill them, boys. Drill them. That's beautiful. Two. Three, nice! Nice shoot. Get ready on these ducks, guys. They're gonna be hot. Ready, ready, rip them, rip them, rip them. Perfect. Three. Oh, cripple. Oh, come on. Three. Oh. Four. That was good shoot. I did that. You saw that? Yeah. So, ended up being a great hunt, you know. It was, uh, we ended up with 32 docks. We had four hunters. Uh, 20 specs, we shot all those, four Canadas, and I think about a half dozen snow geese, which is awesome. I mean, great way to, great way to kick off a morning hunt for these guys in the start of their group. And then Mel, he was on a honker hunt, he's got 21 geese and 16 ducks, so another fantastic showing there. This afternoon we'll see, with this snow and the cold that's coming, I'm pretty sure the geese are just gonna lay in the fields all day, which means we can't get the guys underneath any. If they do give us an opportunity and they leave the fields, we'll definitely hunt the other guys. Uh, not a great day if you're a farmer though. The, you know, these guys, these poor guys have been getting pounded and pounded by bad weather. So our uh, thoughts definitely go to those guys because it's, it's, a, it's a tough grind for them right now.